My last life, Gandhi, was I strong? Oh, hell yes. Incredibly strong. I'm stronger this life, but I was strong as hell then. I starved myself twice. Two times I starved the hell out of myself. To the point where the last time I did it, two-thirds of my organs were already shutting down. That's why I had to have my two, whatever, they, you know, nieces, whatever, like one's niece, another close, whatever. That's why I had them literally holding me up. When I went walking somewhere, I couldn't even walk on my own. Because my whole body was shutting down and still another guy shot me four times, not three times, in the chest. In the lungs. And then finally got out of the damn body. Sometimes people look at a past life. I've heard so many, you know... Things the Huffington Post said, well, Gandhi was this, and you know, he was that, he had that fault, that fault. Why are you trying to tear someone apart? Everyone has fault. Those people that are so busy doing that, you know what they need? No, oh, about 30 seconds in front of a mirror. They'll never publish that though. They can't get the ratings, they can't go like this. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, I did. That was me, man. That was me. It's like, man, that's disgusting. Be proud of what you do, but damn, don't make something of it. Keep going. Do something else. Anyway, whatever. This lady looked at me one time in a crystal store. It, uh, she looked at me and she goes, You look just like Gandhi G. You know, she was from India. I looked at her, smiled. And I, I just said, Honey, I am. What can I do for you? And she just, she remembered me. She beamed a big smile. That was so cool. It's nice to meet others from past lives. People think my last life as Gandhi was such such a wonderful blessing and he just wants to be so powerful. You have no idea what the crap I went through, man. It was a life of hell. But that's part of what's going on is you all being able to see more for yourself so that you can, you can become yourself and understand yourself better because you have to really understand yourself before you can understand what's around you in the in the proper perspective okay number one to see it completely and understand it but two to see yourself in your relationship to it properly when you show someone compassion they know using their abilities who they are what they have whether it's their gut seeing or the heart they know that you care about them do you know that you might be the only one that's ever cared about them in a long time Folks, that's power. That's my last life, Gandhi. Gandhi had plenty of issues. Let me tell you that. I can't stand thinking about that life. It's nasty. I was not who I wanted to be. Uh, I couldn't stand what I was going through. People, you really need to know who you are and toss off this aggressive reptilian abuse. Excuse me abusive format crap that's been put on you you can do it you just let it go you have to release it but first calm down go inside yourself and find out who you are find your truth if if those people who are negative they don't want to go in there and do that okay they don't care so if you want to do it don't worry about what you're going to find what you're going to find is really cool it's awesome you're going to find out who you are which is much more beautiful, much more powerful than you're aware. Have compassion for yourself enough to discover who you really are. And then you can show true compassion for someone else and help them possibly do the same. Those of us of heart energy, we care. Those of us of heart energy are usually the ones beat up the most by, you know, being treated heartless in our lives. You all need to know who the hell you are. You're never going to find out trying to read about it on the internet because those, the vast majority of everyone on the internet, not everyone, but the very vast majority, they're running around like, I don't know, they're just a bunch of squabbling idiots. Ashtar Command and all these other guys. Get your head out of your butt. I mean, whatever. That's stupid. They talk to the spirit guide twice and they think they're talking to extraterrestrials. And then they try to turn them into some kind of deity or god or something. I'm like, really? 
Folks, the only way you're going to find your own truth is to find it yourself, within yourself, okay? That's the only way it happens. You have to trust yourself. And the more you know about yourself and what you do, guess what? The easier that is. And the stronger your feelings are about what you think. Now, that's a big one. We start coming alive, seeing things, feeling things, getting gut feelings, we don't trust it. We find out, well, maybe we should have, but especially when you see different beings running around, you need to start trusting yourself. It's time for you to take charge of yourself. My last life, Gandhi, be the change you want to see around you. Be the change you want to have happen in the world. It starts with you having a thought and moving a foot and an arm, okay? And next thing you know, you're walking. Just like when I made that huge trek out to the sea to make salt. I was told not to, and I said, yeah, kiss my grits. I couldn't believe they actually said that. I was so glad to have the media and everyone there, but the whole time I was doing that, I was pissed. I didn't care about the media, news people. I thought it was good. I liked it, but I didn't care. I was going down to make some salt. Why? Because they said I couldn't, and I needed it, so screw them. Yesterday was kind of funny being my death anniversary, as I call it, uh, Gandhi. Y'all have no idea how bad that life sucked. Um, I was allowed to feel like I was putting stuff together and it was going to work. Twice. I offered myself, I starved myself almost to death. Actually, it was to death because I was dying. After that second one, there was no go coming back. And I did it for peace. I did it so y'all would understand how cool you are inside. Um, anyway, y'all are awesome. And then too, I love you, okay? Um, I want you to know how awesome you are. I want you to be your true self. I started that my last life as Gandhi, and I'm finishing it up now. Except when I was Gandhi, I was all about peace. This time, I'm, I came with a different agenda, finishing off what was keeping the peace from happening. I've had 10.846 trillion lives, what I am inside. My last one was Gandhi. I've had some other ones. A lot of people think that's, woo, big deal. Um, the message was strong. It was about the message, not me. I can't make I can't make my overalls. <laughs> okay, um, I made my clothes last time. I've been fighting the original what the original first being haves have done and how they put things since the beginning, and they're finally dead now. And so I can kind of relax, but I have a maybe a little bit of a hangover of feelings from what they put everyone through that I wasn't able to do much of anything about. By the end of 2009, I found out I was strong. 2010, I was killing stuff on the other side. Because it kept attacking me. It wouldn't stop. It's the angels at first. It's what they call angels, the original first being servants. When, when they do things to help, they're angels. When they do something to hurt you, because they did, when they were, they did whatever they were told. It wasn't like they're vicious and wanted to hurt you. They did what they were told, and if they didn't, they got smacked by the original ones, who, by the way, were a bunch of weak, couple of weak little sacks of crap, and they're dead and gone. As of uh, May twenty third, twenty thirteen. The only one that ever could have brought this to you is me, because nothing can kick my ass. Nothing. Everyone together, at one time, attacking me, can't kick my ass. That was when I left Gandhi. Now I'm a real freak. But most of us out there are beautiful, compassionate, loving beings, and we want this crap to end. By the way, I talk to the ETs all the time when I was Gandhi. Uh, my last life was Gandhi for all it's good, for all it's bad. It was horrific. I was continuously run. I had these huge archangels, you know, hanging on my head, original first being male and female in my head. 
controlled in certain things I did. I was that that to me are, are disgusting now. Um, hey, that's called being in a body. And I was so close to just freeing India. And then at the at the very end, boom, it turned into a nightmare. That's the blessings of your God, of your Yewa, of your Allah. There's no no such thing. There was the original first being male and female, and it's dead. My last life, that of Gandhi, a lot of people say, you know, wonderful things. Some people say bad things. I don't care. It was a life. Uh, for the most part, for the almost the whole part of it, I was controlled. I did whatever I was told to do, made to do what I do, just like everyone else. But because of what I am, because the original first being male and female knew I was coming out and I was going to deal with them, then, you know, then I had a lot more to deal with. But that's okay, because it kept making me stronger. Now I'm ready to go to work for everyone everywhere, period, forever. I've never won a crap for myself. I've, I've said before, I have a hard time taking a thank you. Now they're going so great or something. It's, just, uh, it's almost like I'm allergic to it. Um, I don't do something for that. I'm, I'm just being what I am, what I was made to be. Gandhi, my last life, you have no idea what that was like. It's the last body I was in. One of the most horrific lives I've had on this planet. This is exactly, this is my last life, but this is exactly my 220,000th life on this planet. If you've had 65 lives on this planet, you've had a lot. So many people have thought, well, you know, Jay couldn't have been Gandhi's last life. Gandhi was so soft and everything. You know, look at some of my quotes, please, from my last life as Gandhi. I talked about nonviolence, and I said, do not accept crap from any government, whether even if they kill you, do not take their shit. Do not bow to anyone. I can't remember the exact quote, but I remember having said it many times. Honor yourself, honor your neighbors, including animals especially plants, everything. We are family. Honor each other's presence as having equal rights as yours. That's the truth. That's what exists now. And don't mess with it. You want to see the world wake up? It starts with you. My last life. Be the change you want to see in the world. Gandhi. Namaste. People need a lot of freedom to be who they are, what they want to be. They need some room to relax. Those people embedded in religions, they need to come out. They need to find, the only way to come out of something, a thought process, is to find the truth for themselves, but the, the highway has to be opened up so they can get to the damn store. Guess what? I've got a new blacktop there for you. Gandhi, my wife, was literally dying so close I could feel it every moment. She was dying while we were both in jail and separated? He wants to be like the, the hero Gandhi. No. Just a person having a life. His job was to try and bring people together. So what happened? The original mother and father fucked my life up so many times. What happened when he's trying to pull India, to, India together, huh? Yeah, the whole thing got destroyed. It broke his heart. So I uh, had his wife die on him. There's a lot of other shit in, in that life I had on that potato. Stand up for yourselves, okay? Just don't go punching people and throwing stones instead. You know, don't start, <clears throat> don't start a fight. I'm coming hurt. Hurts looking at me like dad. You know, you got work. All right, folks. Love you anyway. Take care. But just remember, that's right, Herky. What did you say? Like Herky says, stand up for yourself. That's right. That's right. You just ask them what their problem is and tell them, no, I'm doing what I want to do. It's not hurting anyone. Buzz off. Go bother someone else. Love y'all, man. Have a good one.